All right, so this just happened. Look, so so Jay-Z's been lyrically beating listeners over the head with Ace of Spades references since he acquired the company back in 2014. And while most hip-hop heads tuned into the 2018 NBA All-Star Game, Jay-Z was out in Manhattan spending big bucks on his own big baller brands. A Playroom Lounge risked losing their job after they Snapchatted Jigga Man's final bill at their NYC hotspot, which came to a whopping total of $91,135 and included an $11,000 tip. Allow for a moment of clarity for a second. Jay-Z bought 40 bottles of his own champagne. Page Six reportedly saw the rap legend passing them around to other tables as well. And check this out. This was only the dessert menu for the evening. Jay was celebrating the birthday of his longtime homie Juan O.G. Perez, who is also the president of Rock Nation Sports. Music industry vet Jay Brown, Jay's cousin Emory Jones, and Desiree Perez, OG Juan's wife, and Rock Nation's chief operating officer who was also in the place to be seen. Before they turned Playroom Lounge into their own backyard bank vault, the birthday bunch hit Zuma, a glitzy sushi restaurant in Midtown, where Jay dropped $13,000 on the tab, and then an upper Manhattan restaurant made in Mexico, where Jay dropped $9,000 on drinks, including his own Duce Cognac. No surprise there. Jay's moves this past weekend mirror the type of financial freedom he preached on his recent critically acclaimed album, 444. Financial freedom, my only hope. And it's rubbing off on the people closest to him. What's better than one billionaire? Two? <laughs> I'll be damned if I drink some Belvedere while Puff got Shirai. I need to stop. Hip-Hop DX editor-in-chief Trent Clark exclusively reports that during a finale party for Fox's The Four, hosted by judges Megan Trainer, DJ Khaled, and Diddy himself, Bottle Girls at the Lila in West Hollywood brought out Moet Chandon in celebration of 20-year-old Evie McKinney winning the inaugural competition show, and Puff made him take it back to go get some Ace of Spades. Classic. Ace of Spades, please. Ace of Spades, Black Expert, Ace of Spades. Let's bring back the Ace of Spades. We're gonna get some Ace, um, some Ace of Spades out here. We're gonna do a toast. So Jay-Z's entire weekend basically screams out money ain't a thing with Jermaine Dupree. The Ferrari and Jaguar switching four lanes on top down screaming out money ain't a thing. Bubble hard in the double law, flashing the rings with the window crack, holla back, money ain't a thing. Jigga, I don't like it if it don't gleam, gleam in the hell on price, the money ain't a thing. Put it down hard for my dogs that's locked in the bang. When you hit the bricks, new whip, money ain't a thing. And there you have it. But was this really a weekend of Jay-Z splurging or just a weekend of Jay-Z reinvesting in his own champagne and cognac companies? I think Aziz put it best. Like, you know how baller that is? <laughs> Jay-Z signed the tab and money went back into his own pocket. He's like, you're crazy for this one, Jay. Holes.